Hope you welcome to my top 15 most useful Pokemon in PBR. This is my list, as in the Pokemon I use to make the most, what I consider the most useful. There will be some honorable mentions, the ones that didn't quite make the list. And if the screen, you know, gets small, and that, I've used different captioning devices throughout the years of PBR, so the screen might be a smaller and bigger, smaller and bigger sort of thing. But anyway, this is my list. So if you think I am wrong. You. It's my list and it's my Pokemon that I use. So anyway, this is my top 15 most useful Pokemon that I use in PBR. Claydol is sent out. That's why you should Claydol just makes it into the number 15 spot. He's been quite useful, like I said, in the name suggests, Wardle. He's been born in Pokemon, he's been actually dissing out pain for the short career he's been with me. His first introduced was in uh, Gale, Kirby, Zombies, Friend Battle. And like I said, he's been warning these Pokemon for quite some time. And I specialised it in physical and special defence. So in order to actually dish the pain out and take it like exorcism from the ninjas. Well there you go, that is Claydol. He barely makes it into the 15 spot and now it's time to see what number 14 is. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Ninjask is sent out. And number 14, we've got the Speed Demon, known as Ninjask or Speed Claw. As you can see, he's been dissing out pain for quite some time, as long as no one can take him hits very well. <laughs> you know he's always focused on. Of course, Ninjask's special talent of outspeeding most opponents is great. Especially dealing with some dark eyes here and there. But his real pain of a max side moment, ladies and gentlemen, is when he actually puts hard paths into other Pokemon. I haven't actually used him that much, but compared, well, I'm actually using him as a computer. But anyway, Ninjas is number 14, and he's going to be here for the right time. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Executor is sent out. At number 13 we have got Ezekiel, and he's been always been the opponent thanks to the good old Silly Day team. And he's been taking on Pesky five times with his power ground. You see he's been doing some work thanks to that good old life orb. And I find he has seven sense which restore his HP. Thanks to it all it will be outspin and destroy him teams for future to come. Blue Corner calls their Pokemon back. Metagross is sent out. At number 12, we have the blue tank known as Metagross, or the silver tank. It depends if you, uh, I did have a shiny version. Anyway, he, Metagross has been warning Pokemon and this now pushing me for ages on my channel. But unfortunately, due to recent times, I haven't been using them that much. So that's why he's so low on this net. And beginning, he's been wrecking stuff by the reason they doing that. Probably plus 100, he hasn't been doing much work. So, anyway, Murgles deserves the number 12 spot and be one of my favorite Pokemon for Gen 3. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Electrifier is sent out. And number 11, we have Electrifier. He's been following me, Pokemon, for quite some time. He's been helping me out against any pesky electrical types like other Electrifiers, for instance, and helping me set up with follow Dragon Dancers and whatnot. And of course, uh, we have to give honorable mention to my anime nature Electrifier. He's been dishing up punishment as much as my follow me version. Well, follow me is obviously the most bulkier version, uh, like I said in previous Mario battles. And here you can see he's been taking the hits and Dishing that punishment for quite some time, and along and with his partner in crime, who's actually next, he's been dishing out pain as well. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Zapdos is sent out. And number 10, we have Zapdos. And of course, Zapdos has been dishing out electrical type moves for quite some time during on my channel. I do have two. One was not was quite up, up to snow to the, this recent one you can see here. Anyway, there's not those no one heat wave and air cutter and discharge and thunder was wrecking so many Pokemon to push me. You know, discharge helping you let and then another Pokemon we'll see you later. He, he, it was he was wrecking teams and plus is a perfect way to get rid of those pesky Kyogres. 
I mean, this Zapdos is also one of my favorite all time legend sites, and let's see who, who beats that. The blue corner suddenly calls their Pokemon back. Primate is sent out. And number nine round, Primate and Cold Primate's been somersaulting with close combats for quite some time and doing serious amount of damage to whoever dares to be on the receiving end of any of these close combats you're seeing on the screen. Of course, he's been taking out legendaries with these close combats. But not just close combat, he's been new turning and ice punching some serious threats and he has been transferred, like most of these Pokemon on this list, uh, to Pokemon X. So hopefully when I get a 3DS capture device, you can see him back in action along with everyone else and let's see who beats them at number 8. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Infernape is sent out. Uh, number the 8 spot we have Fire Ape the Infernape, of course. Infinite's been a uh, part of the Sunny Day team for since day one with that Solar Beam Heatwave Focus Blast combo. Because also you'll notice Protect, you know, he's protect himself from another Pokemon, but he'll be later. But anyway, like I said, Infinite's been dishing that punishment for ages, taking out the Elgars, Palkers, you name it, even the old Kyogre on some occasion. And Infinite is transferable to X and Y, like I said, and hopefully I'll be able to use him in that battle. Well, uh, let's see what his parting crime is, because he's up next. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Groudon is sent out. And number seven, we have Groudon. Of course, Groudon is the key Pokemon in my Sunday Day team. With that good old Drowns ability. Groudon has been... This is now a pain for ages with that good old Wax Knight and Earthquake and good old Fire Punch and the old Dragon Claw or whatever. And he's also been taking the pain, as you can see here, he's been taking Shadow Ball, Special Wens, and Dragon Potion like a beast, thanks to that good old Citrus Berry he's always carrying. Even when the rain is up, Groudon just laughs at these water type moves. Like this Surf on this Leon, he just takes it and he's like, ha, you have to do better than that. And anyway, this is Groudon, he's at number 7, and like I said, he's been important on the Sun Team with a good old Infernape, Zapdos, and he's like, it's all, but let's see who's at number 6. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Hitmonlee is sent out. At number 6, we have Hitmonlee. Of course, Hitmonlee's been dishing out. He already moves throughout all the pretty much the Pokemon career with the odd high jump kick and earthquake and the odd blaze kick. But he's best known for his good old sucker punch and muck punch and faking out dark rise and what forth. Of course he's also in X and Y now, but for the new uh, let's see what they're called berries. Yeah, I might have to rethink Hitmon Lee. Might have to resort to Hitmon Chan now because of a good old bullet punch. But anyway, Hitmonlee is still here, he still packs a lot of amounts to take on Lugias, the old new 2 and whatnot on some occasion, and the old Latios. Anyway, let's see uh, what, who's at number 5. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Gyarados is sent out. Next we have Gyarados. Of course Gyarados has been intimidating, dragon dancing, and very much in wrecking teams with good old Warfall, Earthquake, and Ice Fan combination. Of course, I do have, I did have a red Gyarados at some one point. The shiny version, obviously from Heart Gold, but it was like from that Gyarados. It was actually modest nature, which I well, back then I didn't care about nature, but now I do. So anyway, and plus he no tour to get rid of you know trick freeze. But this Gyarados is just pure bulk. It takes off heat and against nothing like water spouts and whatnot. Even surviving the odd electrical time move. Surprisingly. But anyway, Gathers has got mega evolution and he's happy next to Y and then we'll see what's next. Blue Corner suddenly calls their Pokemon back. Porygon Z is sent out. And number four we have Porygon Z. Of course Porygon Z is my Scar Pokemon. With no special attack increase and the fact he has over 400 special attack, he's been wrecking so many Pokemon. Doesn't matter what type you are, I always carry Thunderbolt, Beyond Psychic, Signal Beam, Dark Pulse, and of course Hyper Beam to take out anyone who dares to defy my Polygon Z. Because, like I said, he's still working in addition to Pokemon X and Y, and even when he's not, I mean, you know, 
a special attack and he's still got <laughs> some struggle in him. Anyway, Paul Z is number four. The blue corner calls their Pokemon back. Yon Mega is sent out. And number three we have Yon Mega. Of course, Yon Mega is my anti scarf Pokemon. He's been dealing with Dark Rain, Mewtwo's, any psychic or dark times in general. Oh, to go fighting time like this Arceus we have here. Your Mega's been now speeding loads of opponents, and that's what he does best. And he's still welcoming addition in any of my teams, doesn't matter which generation of longest or not once. But hopefully, once I eat, uh, do a previous catch of ice, I can reinduce my Sunny Day theme with a bit of a tweak here and there. But anyway, Your Mega is number three, and he, his Bug Burst is going to call, cause him more pain, even in next time. Corner calls their Pokemon back. Spiritomb is sent out. And number two, we have Spiritomb. Of course, Spiritomb has been in my team since pretty much day one. Just because he's just so goddamn bulky. He can take his and then with good old nothing boss, he can dish him out with additional power. I mean, he can even survive critical hits like Earthquake. And even stab moves with the, with the odd. Obviously, in the X and Y, when they introduce the fairy type spirit team, Lucy's no weakness, which is pretty bad for spirit team. But I'm sure spirit team can still sponge hit like this. Uh, judgment, and of course, world time. But anyway, spirit team's at number two. Let's see who's at number one. Before we get to number one, let's see here some honorable mentions. their Pokemon back. Salamence is sent out. Of course Salamence is number one. Who else is, who else is gonna be people? Come on. Salamence has been with me since pretty much day one along with Spirit. Of course he's been Dragon Dancing and and Focus Sashing Pokemon for ages. And he I nicknamed him Uber Gunner because that's what he does best. He takes out Ubers like nothing else. I'm pretty sure he's taken out at least every single legendary in Gen 4. I haven't tried Gen 5 yet because I, I can't my DS didn't connect to the Wi Fi. And in Gen 6, I do understand the institution of fairy times, so but don't worry. Samas now knows I intel to deal with those pesky fairy times. <laughs> so anyway, Samas is Timberlake also helps me out a lot and he's specialising in taking out power because you can really see you. But Samas is my favourite Pokemon all the time and the most useful Pokemon I guess in Pokemon Battle Revolution. And this is my top 15 most useful Pokemon and hope you battle some more. Peace.